Hello and welcome to Europe Universalis. My name is Materius and welcome to Ireland. We finally created it and we also created Irish Greenland and also Irish Canada. Which we also colonize. Look at the damn French fleet. So my main problem is kind of money. Money is the main problem. And well, England has a pretty big development at the moment as you can see oh, not every province 10 development but this one 35 I guess it's only 62 48 well there's definitely something we can do about it and with that in mind, I was looking at my provinces and they are like six. They're not that much. But it definitely needs to improve. We got most of these northern provinces. We got the northern uh, sea for the North Sea. So. I guess we have a lot of trade power yet. We are getting 36. Denmark is getting the most income. That's kind of annoying because these provinces, I think these are way more developed. No, they're not. So that's kind of strange. But we need to get more money. That's kind of the main thing we need to do. And I kind of want to get this one as well. But for now, we are going to try and develop some provinces to get more people. There are a few things we can do to get more money. That is get more development, spend points. We're doing that. And lower the local autonomy. But before we do that, we should first look at our rebels. We get a few rebels spawning in three provinces, mills. Uh, Sutherland and Inverness. Yes, Inverness. So, I guess we are drilling the army. We are going to go with our army to that position. We are going to lower the local unrest, increase the autonomy. Will give us some more. More. Uh, Unrest, but we'll have to fix that like this one We also have to change the culture because that's also giving us local unrest And maybe we should do something at the accepted culture. So we got a lot of things to do and Let's slowly Go time first thing we are going to do is do a little bit of development here because well this province got clot and I guess it's the only one with cloth. Yeah, it's the only one. But the nice thing about cloth is that it gives local development cost minus 10%. So we are going to push that one, that one, and that one. That way we are going to improve local development plus 30%. And... I guess we should also place a temple in this one that will also give us some benefits and we are going to drop that as well so we are now at 2.56 and let's unpause and let's check what is going to happen so our army will be going that way uh, maybe we should also go this way for the unrest uh, on rest oh, it's still zero so that's kind of neat and we already at our three ducats that's good that's good all right next thing we need to do yeah we could go with the conversion but the first thing i want to do is go and look at the accepted cultures and let's see subjects estates because i always have to look where that is we got like two vessels now they both pay me money that's a good thing and where 
Where is it? Where is the accepted cultures? I always need to look for that one. Because we got like... 10 states, 1 territory. This one will cost me money. That's not a good thing. Alright. I really have to look into this because I don't know where it is. This is also a nice one, but we're not going to use that one. Because I always thought the accepted culture were in here. We do... Grand Monopoly... That will... We can demand diplomatic points. That's always a good thing. Well, in this thing it's not, but granting them that way we can do it. Granting them some... Kind of want to do that one. Definitely want to do this. The clergy. But I also want this one. So doing that one and... Hmm. And make a generous donation. Yes, that will fix it. All right, so now I kind of want to have like the mint guy. Do we got him diplomatic relationship. Nope. Uh, and you see in here national tech modifier. That's also a good one. So I guess we. But he's a plus two, so he's going to cost me like a ton of money. Improve relationships, trade. Because the trade guy is not going to help me. Any national decisions we can make? Nope. And we got a new king. Ooh. Pause the game, pause the game, pause the game. That's a good one. Good air. Alright, let our army go and fight the Sutherlands. I wasn't paying that much focus to them. Got a nice king with strong and umpire because we can easily take those guys. Don't need to spend yes, this is this is the screen I was looking for. I want to have the English culture accept promote English to be an accepted culture. Uh, it will cost me 100 diplomatic points, but it will definitely help me because British are now like an accepted culture. And the fun thing is now English doesn't give me any problem. So now I can lower. A lot of things, unrest, a lot of autonomy, without having any, any problem at all. So we are going like, to look at every, can we if have no colonists sent? I kind of want to have a colonist to send, but well, let's take a look at cannot lower this one. I guess that's because I have given this to an estate. Yeah, burgers. Nope, nope. And we can lower this. Alright, so we have to wait. Now let's see how much money it's going to give us. Two point twenty two. Hmm, I was expecting a little bit more. Normally I would say we are going to destroy the forts, but I definitely want to keep these areas. Alright, so where do we go? Uh 
How much time do you need? This is going to take 50 years. It's a good, good province. I wonder, do you have like a claim on this one? Because then I would definitely go to war with you. No cause belly. That's kind of annoying. We could do like... This is your army, I see. I, I would love if you go explore, but well, she will expire with Great Britain in like four years. We got still got some province of unrest, so let's send our troops to that position. So we're doing pretty well. I wonder if we go to war in a few years. If we can get France and Denmark to join us. That would be pretty, pretty nice. And we're at 4.2 duck hits. That's a good thing. All right, now let's see if we can get like any way with money to spend points because this province got coal and it needs to be developed until 20. And I did upgrade that fort, so that's going to cost me maintenance. But the last time this fort got like crushed really fast. And uh, Thrones of Heretics, I could do like improved militaries. Yeah, let's do that one. Missionary Strength. And I got like two, I don't want to lose the technology cost, war, so we're not going to do that one. Stability cost, we got like a pretty good stability, so we could do that. But we're not. Alright, let's see how we can... No, that one. Because now it is costing us way less to... Change. That will give me more unity, but what will unity give me? Religion unity, national unrest, or a kind of stability cost, and yearly corruption. So I really kind of not care if that is being lowered. All right. And the next tier is absolute and constitution, constitutionalism. Damn what word. That will give me some lower autonomy and more numbers of state. Well, that's not interesting at the moment as well. We can get, no, we cannot get more points. I kind of want to have my troops do a little war around here. But I guess we cannot claim by Ireland. And they're drilling as well. Our air is has some discipline, that's always good. So let's take a look at the rebel faction there. You guys can drill. And we're still making like four ducats. I really wish I could get another colonist because then I could use that one. France is also drilling, it's kind of peaceful. I guess Catholic is still doing pretty well. Discovery spread, so we've seen, alright. 
How is the technology tree? Because it's, this is getting kind of... So we should get some money. I could borrow like a lot of money. Yeah. Well, I don't mind borrowing, lowering those uh, current technology penalty. I, this is the one that's kind of bothering me. We are getting like a lot. Change the fish recall. Because I could use this now, but that will cost me like a big penalty. And let's see if we can get national unrest minus 10 tax modifier. I don't want that one. Missionary strength. I definitely don't want that one. Any other good one that we can get. Improved relationship, also another good one. Will cost me money to do that, and I kind of not want to spend the money at the moment. No, we are going to wait. And we're going to save up the money so that we can. Uh, Get the technology we need. What's this? There's blood. The High King, the rumors is spreading that Spain is preparing attack. Right, well, I don't care about him attacking. I only care about enemies of Great Britain. And Brandenburg is one, Portugal is one, France is not. So, kind of, if we want to declare war, France will not join us. And that's kind of a problem. They have a truce with Britain, but this is definitely a problem. France is in debt, so that the minus 10. France manpower is kind of low. I guess that will fix itself in the end. So I am definitely going to improve. And I kind of want to become buddies with you. So let's see if we can do that. Improve. And let's see, also improve with, uh, with Denmark as well. So the North Sea is getting us like a lot of money, or at least three ducats, that's, that's enough. All right, so improve relationship with Denmark. France is definitely having a little, little bit of trouble because of the Catholic War. Alright. Didn't expect that one. I wonder if he's going to attack or if he is... He is making another inventory soldier. That's good. That's always good. Alright, I'm going to send my troops to that area as well because I want to have a rebellion. I almost forgot about that one. Three years. We are going to split this army up and make like a small army. Uh, select. This small army is. No, the other one, that one. Is gonna have like a conquistador. And is going to have like. Going to be like a small. Army that will be able to. Ooh, we got like those points. I always like their points. Institutional spread truth. Institutional spread in true faith provinces. 
Hmm, that's kind of interesting, but what are true fate provinces? Mercenary discipline, ship strip, power propaganda. That's always war's core cause of our religions, blockading impact. These are all not in my interest at the moment. Things I don't really want. All right. Let's send these guys to this province. And we got like another tier unlocked. So we can pick for the minimum autonomy of territory minus 10%. That's, I wonder if that's also counting with the states, bureaucrat, uh, military states and that kind of stuff. Because these are now the nobility, the clergy. Let's test it because I, I just want to know. So I know for a fact that I had yet yeah, this one. Minus 10, and if I pick that one, because the other one is like number of states, don't need that. Let's see. If we now go to this one, it's still 10. Maybe I need to unpause. No, it doesn't count for those. That's kind of pity. Truth will expire. Excellent work. ready but then we still need the 400 all right so we got our troops and settler chance no we're definitely going for that one all right now we are going to declare war And I want my leader on it. Because now I can explore. That way we can take like a lot of things. Let's slow it down a little bit. I don't want to call in my allies. Yeah, we got like a small army coming in of 8k. We are still making like a ducat. Oh, that's pretty good. Kind of fun how they don't have any army. Pause the game. Why can I not move my army? I can move my army. Should capture you pretty soon. Thank you. Now let's... Hunt them down and let's see who we are in war with. The guys over there, all right. Pause the game. Recruitment is out of necessary something. Why? Definitely don't want to lose manpower. So now we're also going to do a little bit exploring. Just because I want to know what's out there. I want to know.
Where are the enemy? Oh, they're all the way over there. All right, let's just go to that place. Getting some more unrest, but I kind of need it at the moment. Slow down just a little bit. Recall. Recall. Right, I wonder what kind of fortress do they have? Like here, that's that's no fortress. Right, so this should be pretty quick siege. And who are you? You're that guy that I declare war on. But I kind of want to have all of you. And we can do... Interesting, this is corruption plus four. Land maintenance modifier minus five percent. That's always good. That's a lot of money. Uh, we might even get discipline. I don't think so, but development cost minus twenty percent. So that's the one I want to go for. All right. This is kind of crappy because they are on an island. And there's no way I can get to them. I, I really thought it was these guys. Hmm. That's kind of annoying because I don't have enough ships for those. Where's my fleet anyway? Because this is going to be a hot drop. This fleet is going to drop in there. Maybe we'll get a lot of money from these guys. How's the institutional doing? Slowly spreading. Alright, so we got ourselves into a little trouble. They're still a minus 21, so definitely don't want to lose. I want the innovation. I really need the innovation. Alright, let's send our troops. Uh, Alright, Denmark, I don't mind that. Yeah, I knew you want. Ooh, that's you. So I could peace out with you guys separately. Uh, you guys. You got a lot of money? No, you don't. I can make you an Irish vassal. That way you are going to. You don't want to be an Irish vassal. Hmm. Well, I guess you have to wait a little bit then. Alright, how's my fleet doing? My second fleet because I kind of need more ships. So this is going to cost me a lot of money, but I kind of need it. Population have grown. Currently 900 and... That's good. That goes pretty fast. Didn't expect that. Alright, where... Excellent. So the next one with the highest development, five, 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 five. Five, it's all five. It's nothing with six. Would be nice. Three. So I guess this one is going to be it. Sent. Alright. They're sending them troops back. 
All right. Now let's see what we can get. I want at least this one. And you guys can be vessels. I guess so. How much money can we get from you? Only 10. I could do it like separately. So now we have a little bit too much uh, diplomatic provinces under siege. Hmm. By rebels. So I'd send this army to you guys. All right, all right. Well, this war is over. I got two more vessels. Uh, maybe not something I would need, but oh well. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can integrate them later on. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode, and I definitely did. And hope to see you in the next video. My name is Materius, and see you soon.